Salutations! I'm Alphabetti, and I love the alphabet. But I've lost my doggie. I'm very worried about finding her. Have you ever lost something? It's not a good feeling. Can you help me look for my doggie? Great! Since doggy starts with the letter D, I'm looking in a D place. Do you know its name? That's right! It's Denver, Colorado. The letter D makes a D sound. Can you make that sound with me? D. Again. D. Great! Let's look around and find all the things that start with the letter D. Especially my doggy. I see some dice. Can you find them? Great! Roll them bones! Ooh, a drum. Do you see it? Good job! Pa-rum-pa-pum-pum. -pa but I wonder if my doggy is here. Let's keep looking. I found a daisy. Do you see it? Great job! Mmm, it smells so nice. <gasps> Look, a dinosaur. Can you find it? Nice. Dinosaurs are so cool. My doggy loves dinosaurs. Where could she be? I see a duck. Do you see it too? Good job! Quack, quack! <gasps> oh! I see my doggy! Can you find her? Awesome! You did it! You found all the D things and helped me find my doggy. Thanks! I was so worried. Now I can play with her all day. Next time, we'll go to an E place and find E things. A, B, C, you later. I'm minus, not minus, and I love subtraction. These drums are too loud, and I can't sleep. Too much noise needs subtraction. There are six drums. Six minus one equals five. Still too much drumming. More subtraction. Five minus two equals three. Still too much noise for sleeping. Three minus three equals zero. What? More drumming. Where is it coming from? Stop. Stop drumming. I'm trying to sleep. Stop. Stop. Please stop now. Whoa! Oh, hey, Linus. I didn't know you were here. I'm trying to sleep. Oh, giving the old batteries a charge, huh? Why didn't you just say so? But I did. I asked nicely. Oh, I must not have heard you. Time to check your sensors. Well, I can do that while I recharge. Good night. Good. Now I can go back to bed. Hey, Linus, do you mind keeping it down? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> Greetings! I'm the Counting Wizard. I love to count. And I'm the Rover. Whoa! Counting Wizard! We're not where we're supposed to be! What? There's only one way to find out where we are, and that's to explore! Oh no! Don't let that wheel get away! After it! Oh no! It went down that hole! One! One hole! There's no time for that, Counting Wizard! Keep after that wheel! has entered this cavern of colored crystals. Ooh! Whoa! It's red! Now green! Orange! Blue! Yellow! Purple! Ooh! It's off to another chamber! After it! Linus the Minus! What are you doing here? Minus the minus, and I love subtraction. This cave has many things to subtract. It sure does, and one of those is my sprocket wheel. Can you help us find it, Linus? What color was it last? Purple. I will subtract the red 
things. Yes, that helps, but there are still too many things to tell. Oh, that's good, because red and blue together make purple. There, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Thanks for your help, Linus. Now we can get back to exploring the galaxy. Linus, do you want to come with us? No, I will stay and keep subtracting later. All right, farewell. Bye-bye now. Greetings! I'm the Counting Wizard. I love to count. Oh look, more dinosaur eggs. But wait, this is strange. They're all different sizes and colors. I wonder why that could be. Can you help me figure it out? Excellent! First, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow! Seven mysterious dinosaur eggs! Now, what colors are these? Can you help me name the colors? We'll start with the first one. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Oh, these are the colors of the rainbow. How fascinating! My friend Alphabetti knows a great way to remember the colors of the rainbow. Oh, Alphabetti! Salutations! I'm Alphabetti. I love the alphabet. Oh, well, hi there, Counting Wizard. How can I help you today? Greetings, Alphabetti. Thanks for coming on such short notice. Can you tell us your trick for remembering the colors of the rainbow? Well, I sure can! The easy way to remember the colors of the rainbow is the name Roy G. Biv. Each letter of that name starts with the same letter as a color. R is for red. O is for orange. Y is for yellow. That spells Roy. G is for green. B is for blue. I is for indigo, and V is for violet. And that makes the G and the Biv. Roy G Biv. That's my trick for remembering the colors of the rainbow. Wow, that's so easy. Thanks, Alphabetti. You're very welcome, Counting Wizard. Good luck with your rainbow eggs. Thank you. Have a great day, my friend. AB, see you later. Oh, look, the rainbow eggs are starting to hatch. Will they be the same kind of dinosaurs? What do you think? No? Why? Because they are different sizes and colors? You're so smart. Let's watch them hatch and find out. Oh, a raptor. A triceratops. A T-Rex. A brontosaurus. And a Spinosaurus. Wow, that's quite a variety of dinosaurs. I wonder why they are all here together instead of in their own nests. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> hello. They have a Brontosaurus mommy and a Triceratops daddy. Well, they probably want to take care of their new babies. We should go. Farewell. <laughs> Top of the morning, adventurers! We've made it to the next room in the jungle temple. But there is a magical force field blocking the way. How will we ever get past it? Ah, look! A ring puzzle. A ring is a circle with a circular hole in the middle. Two circles in one. What an interesting shape. Before we can go to the next room, we must solve this puzzle. We must move all three rings from peg one on the left to peg three on the right. But the smaller rings must stay on top of the big rings, because the big rings will squish the small rings. Hmm, this sure is tricky. I'll need your help with this one, adventurers. First, we move the small blue ring from peg one on the left to peg three on the right. Yes, yes, that was the first step. But what is the second step? Ah, that's right. We move the medium yellow ring from peg one on the left to peg two in the middle. Very good. I wouldn't have figured that out without your help. Now, the next step, what do you think? I agree. We move the small blue ring 
from peg three on the right to peg two in the middle on top of the medium yellow ring. Yes, excellent. Oh, I know the next move, and I'm sure you do too. We move the large red ring from peg one on the left to peg three on the right. Yes, that is it. We are so very close. Your help is indispensable. Now, the next move is, um, do you know it? Yes, yes, that's right. The small blue ring moves from peg two in the middle to peg one on the left. And I know the next step. The medium yellow ring moves from peg two in the middle to peg three on the right, on top of the large red ring. Very good. I think there's only one more step. Can you see it? That's right. Finally, we move the small blue ring from peg one on the left to peg three on the right on top of the large red and medium yellow rings. Ta-da! We've done it. We have solved the puzzle. Very good. And look, the magical force field is gone. We can make our way to the next room. Excellent work, adventurers. Today, we learned what a ring shape is and solved a very tricky ring puzzle. Good job. Thank you for all your help. I could not have done it without you. I can't wait to discover what's in that next room. Ta-ta for now. Salutations! I'm Alphabetty. I love the alphabet. Today, I'm at a C place. Do you know its name? That's right! Chichen Itza! Can you help me find all the C things? Thanks! Let's look around. What starts with the letter C? Camera! Say cheese! Cake. It's party time. Car. Vroom. Carrot. Yummy, yummy. Cat. Meow. Clover. That's good luck. Great job. You found them all. Thanks for all your help. Next time, we'll go to a D place and find D things. A, B, see you later! I do thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about counting with my friend the Counting Wizard, click here.